gender determinations or sex determinations. Eh? Okay, there are two types of chromosomes. Eh? The first one is called the autosomes, and uh, these are the chromosomes which is not the sex chromosomes, and in human bodies we have 22 pairs of autosomes. And we have also the allosomes. Okay, this is another type of chromosome. This is the sex chromosomes, and we have one pair in humans. For allosomes, the XX is the female and the XY is the male. Okay, chromosomes always uh, occurs in pair, right? Okay, if both are X, then it's female, and uh, one of it X and one of it Y, then it's male. Okay, so make sure that you remember this. Huh? Now, mechanisms of trait inheritance. So, men carry XY and uh, ladies carry XX. So let's see what happens during meiosis and reproductions. So meiosis, this is uh, separated into two. And then so during reproductions, let's say this one combined with this one, both XX, then we get a girl, right? And uh, this one with this one, okay, still XX, we get a girl. And then, okay, this Y with this X, uh, we get XY, then we get a boy. And and this one with this one, we get XY and then we get a boy. So the chance to get girls and the chance to get boys are the same. 50% okay, boy and 50% girl. Okay, so this is how the gender or the sex is determined. Okay, so it's determined by the sex chromosomes, uh, which we call it uh, the allosomes. Okay, the sex chromosome is called the allosomes. Uh. Okay, and this is the chromosomes that determines the sex or the genders of an organisms.